Have you seen this before? Hey, I'm Moritz. I'm a team leader in the mountain bike engineering team at Canyon. KISS actually is a mechanical device which helps to stabilize the steering of any uh, bike. It's not like a little bit of support, it's really it helps you a lot. So KISS is basically a device that is like a steering assist. KISS means keep it stable and this is exactly what it does. It helps to keep your handlebars straight. Steering behavior of bicycle has been the same for a hundred years, but no one really asked the question, is this um, the best steering behavior you can get? You know, there has been many big steps in bicycles, especially for mountain bikes, a rigid bike to suspended bike. The introduction of the disc brake or um, the dropper post. And I think it's really this kind of step forward. If you think about it on paper, it's you think it's way too simple, it's not gonna make a, a huge difference or anything. I mean, it's no rocket science, it's just three key components. It's made from a cam ring which is attached uh, to a couple of springs, and the springs are um, creating a self aligning torque. If you do it in a very smart way, then you reach a very specific torque curve. And it changes the behavior of the bike uh, we have never seen before. KISS basically was invented by Joe Kleber, you know, from Synthase. Yeah, he came to us and showed us the thing. As we were thinking like, oh, what is this? And sometimes when you tinker, you, you find things that you didn't plan. And I can say no, nobody asked for this. And also myself, I didn't ask for that. I was like, okay, this is maybe a little bit crazy. And I don't know, the springs and the band. And yeah, actually, I don't want to have anyone playing around with my steering, you know. So we swapped bikes, I took his, uh, he took mine, and, and during the first meters already, I was like, okay, there's something very different happening. Then I overtalked him, so I can take the first test system with me. And pretty soon we were convinced about that this is something special. We had a feeling we need to dive into this new technology. It's a partnership, it's a collaboration with Synthes for sure but we had the chance to really adapt and improve the system according to our needs. So we have been optimizing the shape of the cam ring. We have been playing around with multiple materials and lengths of the band. We have been adjusting a lot of springs and we have been working uh, with our athletes uh, very early in the process. It would be interesting to figure out, you know, how much free play you want to have in the beginning yeah. or how early you want the system to engage. The engagement is very interesting because that's, that's the first thing that you can feel that restabilizing the bike in straight line. It feels like it's providing you like a, another sense. You obviously have the feeling of the pedal, the feeling in the bar of the impact in the ground, but that small pressure is actually helping you to hold, especially on long corner uh, stability in your steering. The self-aligning force is degressive and not linear as you would see it in other systems. No one is gonna understand it. <laughs> it means that no matter how far I turn the handlebar, the self-aligning force is gonna stay the same. What's special about the torque curve of the system, torque curve means, you know, the torque that you need to turn the handlebar. It basically has three different phases. The very beginning, where you can super easily turn it, and then there is a second phase where the torque increases a lot that helps you to stabilize on the high speeds. And then there is a third phase in the curve where the, the force doesn't increase a lot that helps you to go into tight turns and make tricks and so on. Tight turns we had before, it's no problem to ride tight turns. <laughs> if the bikes are getting longer and longer, then you also increase wheel flop. And this is where the KISS system comes into play. Of course you need wheel flop. It gives you a certain feedback from the ground, but in situations where there is no grip and there is also no signal from the handlebar. And in this situation, the system gives you always a constant signal, like a feedback that wants to go back straight. It reduces the effect of the wheel flop on the bike, even increases the stability of already a slack geometry. 
So looking at the system, it appears to be very simple, but bringing it inside of the frame is really a hard task and we have been going through many development loops um, to make it uh, the system as it is currently. Uh, you cannot just take a certain frame and drill a couple of holes in it. It's not how you do, so you need to reinforce everything, you need to test everything, you need to make sure that it's safe. So this is what we did here in a very short amount of time. So depending on the rider weight and depending on the riding style, it might make sense to adjust uh, the KISS system to a less preload or to more preload. So the adjuster is really simple to operate. You just need a 4 mm Allen key. You need to unscrew the bolt a little bit, and then you're able to just uh, slide the adjuster and therefore increase or decrease the preload of the spring of the system. Of course, you guys are probably wondering how it is with durability, you know, to have this kind of system sitting inside the top tube with uh, springs and stuff. Durability testing, we have been uh, doing more tests than we have ever done. We really intensively tested it. The first test machine in this production setup was running 55 days in a row. That was like 55 million cycles. And I would say there is no other bike component on a bicycle that lasts as long. It's 100% maintenance free. It's located inside of the frame, so it's uh, protected from all the impacts from the environment. Therefore, it's gonna live as long as the frame and even longer. Oh, I'm pretty excited about the new steering system because I've never tried something in the headset before. I'm really interested to try the actual the system and see if you notice a difference on trail and also where you notice the difference. You could feel the stability over rough and off-camber terrain. Um, it felt like your handlebars were keeping in, in sync with the road. The jumping was, um, the bike was really flexible in the air and I think also for, for whipping it was quite nice, like very playful. You could definitely feel that something was different. Sometimes need a little time to get used to different bikes and here I, I felt uh, really confident on it right away, so uh, that was nice. If you ride a trail bike with KISS you're gonna feel like you're on a way bigger bike. If you imagine you're going on a rough terrain, rough track, the track instantly feels way easier to ride. In the corner, when you start losing the grip, it feels like uh, it's a bit like skiing where you're drifting with the two wheels. Very easy to control when staying straight on the bike, you actually put yourself in line. It connects the front and the rear in a way that was not there before. As soon as you turn the handlebar and you have a spring force and the bike is in the air or completely loose, the bike goes also into the turn. So you create, a, like let's say, a rotating force towards the rear wheel that helps the bike to be balanced on its drifting attitude. So the front wheel goes and then applying the extra force is helping the chassis to continue turning. Even if you didn't want to drift, but you're already at the limit, you know, your front wheel starts to drift and you're like, with the system, you're like, okay, let's go into the drift. And then you have this connection between front and rear. So you, you can feel a lot more the two-wheel drifting and the progressivity of the way you lose the grip, which for me increase obviously the, the, the feeling and, and build confidence. Because you feel the grip point and you see what is going. It brings a super interesting uh, new information into the riding style that should allow most riders to go faster. I would say a KISS system is really good for almost everyone except for maybe when you really focus on tricks, like if you're more time in the air than actually on the ground. Oh, if you want to do bar spin or tail whip, then it's not your system. We have the feeling we are just at the beginning and there is still a lot to discover, especially for racing, gravity racing. But we feel like it's like a look into the future and it just gives you a feeling of what comes next, you know. Road, triathlon, urban, kids, everything. <laughs> We believe KISS is for everyone. Right now you see it on a trail bike, but you should be prepared to see even more from us in the future. You know, in the long-term view, there will be almost no trail bike anymore that does not have some sort of steering assist. And KISS is just the start. It's nice, like everyone did a, did a great job, you know, the graphic department, the guys did a great job. And everyone in the company was really supportive because that, I mean, that project was not on any agenda. 
there was just everyone was busy with workload and then we had the KISS project just on top but still everyone was uh, doing their best and at the end we got a great product here. Yeah.